Hey everybody, this is Derek. Quick little video. Normally it's been very difficult for me to uh, reply to a lot of the messages and comments. One of the reasons is I'm trying to spend less and less time on the internet. Over the last week or two I've done pretty well at that. But I got this comment from yesterday's video I want to address. And it states, just buy gold and profit from the death of the so death of society. This is spiritual enlightenment. The gods you worship, worship gold, yada, yada, yada. And in reply to this, I see this as in what steps do we need, need to get to what I find a form of spiritual enlightenment. And the video that I made yesterday was nowhere near a spiritual video. But nonetheless, going to the, seri that the areas that I want, which is world peace, which is an area where people would uh, love themselves, love others, and have a world where we could actually grow and prosper. And I, the biggest thing, or the easiest way to say it, would be having the Venus Project or the resource-based economy in by the end of our century. That's what I would want. But what steps do we have to go to get there? And one of it is the demise of the dollar. So, to me, I see a death as a part of a natural thing that we must have. Whether it be a death of the dollar, whether it is death of a certain culture, whether it's a death of a, even a human being for that matter, it is a natural phase in our evolutionary cycle, at least in my point of view it is. And if some people want to take their gold and just try to get rich off of it, that's their choice. If I was able to, say, get rich from silver or gold, if someone was, be, was able to take that and maybe feed a bunch of people, Maybe they take that silver and work towards getting these newer energies, doing productive things, then that would be enlightenment to me. So, I don't know, maybe it was a mixed little message on there, but quite frankly, if you just say ignore the whole situation, how's that going to be good in getting spiritual enlightenment? as we are slaves to a dollar. And I don't want to be slaves to uh, solid money. Right now we are slaves to fiat money. And then if we move to a silver or gold standards, we, we would be slave to solid money. And I don't, don't even want to be there. But while we are here now, this is what we need to live. Basically, that's it. You need to be able to pay your rent, your mortgage, buy your food, get clothes, all that type of stuff. And that's just living. There's nothing wrong with having money in my opinion, but what I do find wrong is what you do with your money. Oh, you see, you see all these people, these big bailout bonuses, these Wall Street bonuses, all of these people making so much money. The Walton family who has the Walmart business making multi of billions of dollars. If they hoard that money or just don't help out society with it, I do see that as greedy. But if someone makes a whack of money and does noble things to help out, is that wrong? <laughs> Thank you for watching, everyone.